Right in today's video, we are going to change the rear differential right there in my Toyota Tacoma 2016. I'm using this Valvoline 75 weight 90 gear oil. I've got three of them. These are the squeezy packs, which will make it so much easier. The flex packs, so much easier to get into that fuel plug. So what do you need? So you need your torque wrench. This is when you're all done. You're going to torque both the fill plug and the drain plug to 36 foot pounds. All right, and I got new crush washers as well. They, uh, I think they go a certain direction, so just be mindful when you take them off. Just put the new washers on the same. There's kind of a flat side and a ring side. Not sure if it matters, but why not be consistent? All right, let's climb under here. All right, you need a 24 millimeter socket. This is a half inch. Uh, what I did too, I just zapped both bolts with a little squirt of PB blaster just to make sure they would come off. And this is the fill plug. I do that first, like everyone else says, you wanna make sure you can get the fill plug off if you can't and you go ahead and you do the drain first, you're kind of, you're kind of SOL, you're gonna have some trouble. So make sure you get the fill plug off. It was not hard, even though mine's a bit rusted. This is a 2016, barely has 45,000 right? I don't drive it much, we're in a small town. But we, uh, we, we're gonna do this anyway. The uh, oil is draining, it's not too bad at all, the gear oil. And when I drained it, pulled the drain plug out, there was, um, minimal debris on it which is a good sign that is a magnet so like uh, most you know my motorcycles i used to put magnetic drain plugs in the oil pan just to collect all the metal shavings on the new bikes and that this had very minimal sludge metal whatever and uh good to know so there's the new washer which is gonna fall off i put the new one on got them off uh amazon just got a variety pack all right, put that on. See the magnet, look at that. We'll let that drain for a bit. We'll put the drain plug back in, finger tight. Tighten a little bit. We will torque everything when we're all done and filled up to the fill plug when it starts dripping out. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, I'll put the plug in. Make sure you put the magnet one in and just go finger tight and make sure you don't drop your phone in the uh, oil. tighten that down a little bit and then I'll torque it when I'm all done so now I'm gonna get my uh, wrench my 24 millimeter get this out of the way just a little snug so I can start filling it up all right I'm gonna prep the gear oil like I said I'm using this Valvoline so if I wait 90 synthetic oil and I'll just snip the ends off and we'll start feeding it into that top fill hole. All right, let's All right. go. Remove the, remove the little safety thingy, snip the tip, and you are good to go. I'm gonna reuse this cap on each one so I don't have to go through and snip it each time on the remaining packs. All right, All right go. I got the flex pack in and I just squeeze it in there. That's all you do, it makes it so much easier than having a pump. Just squeeze the bag in get all of it out and do until you get up to that fill line until it starts dripping out and give it a second and uh, top it off don't overfill it pretty easy all right so I got the new pack pulled the safety strip off the protective strip I'm just draining the old pack into the new pack getting as much into the new one just so I don't waste any right all right I'm gonna reuse the same cap on the new bag Put about three and a half of those flex bags in, so about so one quart per bag, three three point six quarts I think is what it takes. Um, double check on that, but once once it starts flowing out of the fill tube, I give it a few minutes, put a little more in, and then once you know it's flowing out of this tube, you're filled up. I will go ahead and tighten these down, torque them down, both bolts to. 
36 foot pounds and then properly dispose of the gear oil all right here is the used gear oil so the truck has about 45,000 on it all right there you go hope this was helpful uh, with the cost of cars these days guys you gotta learn to do the maintenance yourself save money keep your cars as long as you possibly can do not take out a car mortgage uh, it's just crazy man I learn how to do it I'm an idiot and I can do this stuff I even greased up the drive shaft as well PCV valve and all that stuff you can do it take your time watch some videos and uh, save some money and keep your vehicles running all right what do you think